so these plasma orb guys i wasn't sure if i was going to expose these plasma orbs because i realized they're not like magical technology from like you know the ancient times like you can actually track the technology of these orbs right here um going back like 30 years from the origins and inception to like what you're seeing right here like pretty much like every step of the way pretty much every step of the way now these orbs are not just like one simple thing there's a device in here that can distribute energy and it can be used for gravity manipulation um there's a laser that's just basically pulling energy out of the air so they're more of like a swiss army knife they're more of like a swiss army knife than they are um you know just some magical ball of energy although that is also what they are so it definitely starts to blur the line and the big thing that changed my mind was twofold one i decided well china must know about this technology they must know about it they must be working on it because these videos have been out there and, and the government hasn't told me to stop i mean the government should have told me to stop if they were afraid that china or russia was going to get this so that's another big takeaway and then i found out china and russia or china already has it china already has the orbs basically in 2023 in 2024 while we have been in doing the investigation china has unveiled their own version of the air breathing magneto hydrodynamic plasmas and now that i know what i'm looking for it's a lot easier to find out like who who's working on these plasmas the plasma orbs are an air breathing magneto hydrodynamic engine it's a scramjet engine design it's a scramjet engine design basically what they are is they're an engine a swiss army knife engine uh like this ipod and they can produce a plasma around them they produce a plasma around them by shooting an x-ray laser or a free electron laser free electron laser can basically just destroy the molecules in the atmosphere and use it and suck it in and they fly around when they're flying around they produce energy while they're flying around like the fact that they're moving around produces energy so they're and and, the, and if they go really fast they produce a shock wave the shock wave itself is used to produce energy used to produce fusion the shock wave can produce fusion so they're an engine and the engine produces this compression and the compression just produces fusion and then they have essentially infinite energy so each one of those balls of plasma can produce gigawatts of electrical energy gigawatts you're looking at a completely new paradigm of energy production in those plasma balls. So the craziest part is this is the thing that I'm really struggling with. Those plasma balls, I can trace back the origin of the plasma balls to about 1989. Ironically, the same time as cold fusion. That being said, they are free energy. They literally are free energy. They, they are exact type of free energy that I've been talking about. They're cold fusion. They're everything that you would imagine. They're just not doing it at all in a conventional way that I would have ever expected in a million years. It's a weird system that takes the shock wave, like takes the air in inbound air and sucks energy from it and produces a compression within the plasma itself to produce fusion and electrical energy. And just like the letter to me said, a slightly different change to the structure of the design produces a free energy plasma ball, as opposed to the ones that we're looking at, which are for propulsion mechanisms. And they can take that excess onboard energy and then they can teleport things with it. They can make gravity, you know, super powerful free electron lasers with it. This page on the right right here explains that one, the best method of invisibility cloaking is space-time manipulation. I shit you not. The invisibility cloaking paper directly references just manipulating space-time to make light go around you. That's the best cloaking there is. Boom. 
Oh, yeah. So this is the air breathing MHD. Now, this one I have already reviewed with you guys, but I took another look at it because this is a much, much more in paper, more important paper than I realized. I mean, I didn't know what these words meant. MHD, air breathing, magnetohydrodynamics. I mean, guys, to me, two years ago, you might as well just been speaking in Latin. I don't know, magnetohydrodynamics. I mean, is that like X-Men stuff, right? No, it turns out magnetohydrodynamics is how we use magnetism, specifically superconductors are the best, to control plasma. So what they figured out is something called perfect propulsion. Uh, I kind of want to bring, I want to, I kind of want to like copyright that perfect propulsion. Those orbs are producing something called perfect propulsion. Basically, they're like thermodynamically perfect. They're using the energy that they're producing from moving around to produce excess electrical energy. It's absolutely incredible. They've developed something that is, it's hard for me to even put in words because it's it's quite literally as huge as discovering fire. It's as big as discovering fire. And the bigger question I have is how I mean, did they have this before and like did it come from aliens or where did it come from? Cuz suddenly from in the early 90s to 2010, 2014, this thing just took off. Like this just got out of control. And it makes me wonder like what what was the long-term plan for this? And what I think the long-term plan for it was, and we're going to look at a couple more papers in a sec, is they were thinking that everybody would figure it out. They were thinking in the 90s, everyone was going to figure it out. And now it's like 2020, and they're going, nobody's figuring it out. All the scientific papers are out there. Nobody's figuring it out. Not even our adversaries are figuring it out. They're still building nukes. And we've got directed energy weapons. And so at some point, I think they just said, okay, it's gotten out of control now. Like we thought everyone was going to figure it out. And so we were very scared about suppression. But now they're realizing like we've got free energy, we've got teleportation, and nobody else is really figuring it out. It's starting to get awkward. It's starting to get awkward. And that's also, I think, another reason why I'm still alive is that, you know, some people want some of this stuff to come out. They want some of it to come out. 